station tour. I am so excited for this workstation tour. It was requested by Duck Designs. I'll put her name over here and her YouTube in the description box if I can find the link. Um, it was her idea. She requested it in my Q&A video. I'll put the link over here and in the description box. So thank you so much for requesting. Um, no one in that video said that they wanted a workstation tour, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a workstation tour and I know you guys will love it. So that's why I didn't clear off my desk because I want to be real here. So without further ado, let's get started. First, I'm just going to start off with the left side of my desk. So over here, I just have some cards that I use to get out air bubbles and just some other random cards just as you have. Then over here, I just have some leftovers or mess ups that I will use for future wallets. These have been here for a long time, but I d eventually will use them and then I have some top loaders from packages and tabs for school. Then over here, I just have my three pencil cup holders that I made out of duct tape. This one just has my supplies with pencils, markers, scissors, and X-Acto knife, and ruler, and just some other crafting tools. And then over here, all I have is some Ziploc and the glass. Behind that, I just have some envelopes, bookmark bo bookmarks, um, and some um, lip and letters. And then I have some Velcro, my art book, a clipboard, and duct tape sheet, um, wax paper, and, um, and then another bigger clipboard. Then over here, I just have a wax maker machine. It was supposed to be for stickers, but I decided to use that for designs as well. And then I just have a bag that I like to use. I'm going to put a spotlight on my notebook. Pretty much it is just like those DIYs that they do in um with the magazine triangles, but instead I did this with duct tape. With the magazine triangles, but instead I did this with duct tape and I thought it was way better. Next, moving behind my um organizer my supplies organizer i just have this one where i keep the duct tape labels i'm i like to collect those and then i have some pre-made wallets and some sneak peeks this is also some sneak peeks for our, my craft date number eight so be excited and then over here i just have three little notebooks my business book a binder a business book and then another book and then another sneak peek and school project and my ID plastic is right over here. I just have paper clips and erasers, glue, and my little mascot over here. So say hello. On to the left, I just have my humongous scrap ball. I'm gonna do a spotlight on that as well. Then I'm going to be talking. Then I have these two color combos. I just like to keep my like two different color combos on the side over here so that whenever I make a pre-made wall, I have them prepared. Then I have my business card. Um, it, in this container, card it goes to a minion crafts. I'll put her name over here in her YouTube and tutorial in the description box, and I'll also put it over here in the i card. And then I have my clear tape for my wallets and gray tape, which I barely ever use, and my tripod for when I'm watching videos while I'm duct taping. And then my electronic sharpener over here for work, and then my pencil case right over here. So before I move down to underneath where my other supplies are, I just want to tell you that this scrap ball is 11 and a half inches long, so almost a foot long. It is so large, like I can't even describe how big it is. Just going to move to the bottom segment of my desk, so let's get started. Well, the left side is my duct tape, and in this baby Bjorn container, I just keep shirts for my tablet tablet holders but other everything else is duct tape so i'm not really going to go through this but i'm just going to say that if you want a duct tape collection please comment down below and i will definitely be doing it so over here to the left i just have some supplies so in the top drawer i just like to keep some diys i need to finish my air bubble mat things um some my sharpies and other activities my business cards and that's what I like to keep in the top drawer. In the second drawer, I just like to keep my stickers. Um, I have one duct tape label in here that I need to move to where I normally keep them, but I normally keep them on my desk. Then I have a hole puncher, a pencil case, acrylic paint, 
and cardstock and color paper and some designs. I will definitely be cutting that out soon. Then on the bottom drawer, right next to my trash, I just have cardstock, my giveaway prizes, and some empty rolls of duct tape for pencil cup holders. So pretty much it's all in the plastic left side of my desk. And to the farther right, I just have my um, my laminator. Nothing too fancy, it's just something I got for Christmas. It had nothing to do with duct tape, so I didn't put it in the video, which I will link over here and in the description box. But pretty much that's all I have down there. So that was all for the bottom segment of my desk. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Please comment down below, like, and subscribe. And thank you all so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye, guys! No, no, baby, put your hands on.